everyone. I am back again with another unboxing. Uh, thank you for joining me here today. Uh, disclaimer, the kids are home. It is summer break here. So if you hear some little pitter patters in the background or playing and or fighting, uh, it's just the kids running about. Um, I also turn on my dishwasher first thing this morning. Uh, I got a notice that the painting, that this painting was gonna be delivered. Uh, but they don't normally deliver at my place until about lunchtime, and I had the surprise that literally as soon as I turned the dishwasher on, um, I had the doorbell ring, and there was my painting. So I've been impatiently waiting for my dishwasher to finish, but it may pop back on a uh, steam cycle. So if you hear something, that's what it is. Um, so we're going to get started. So this is one of the unboxings from Victoria's Moon. Um, so there's been a lot of videos up lately. Um of unboxings from this company. They asked a whole bunch of YouTubers um, if they could send you a painting, either a 60 by 60 or a 50 by 70, and um, and then if you could post a review on it. So I've kind of watched a bunch of the videos. I haven't watched the videos because I kind of wanted to have my own opinion of the paintings, but I've kind of taken a peek at what others have gotten. And I find it fascinating seeing um, all the different choices everybody has made. Um, they contact, contacted me on July the 9th and once they contacted me, a woman by the name of Alvina, I took a look at the site and I was astounded by the amount of paintings that they had. Uh, their website was really easy to navigate. Um, all the paintings were sorted by category or you could search all the products. Um, a couple other great things I noticed about their site, if you're new to diamond painting, they have a fabulous set of instructions posted along with uh, photographs. So if you're new, it's a great tutorial they have there. Uh, currently for the month of July, and I took a look quickly this morning, I believe it's still there, that their paintings are currently 50% off and offering free shipping. So that was fabulous. So I got an email on July the 19th from Alvina, uh, letting me know that my package had shipped so it took about two weeks to get here um which you know i'm in canada so stuff does normally take a while so that was okay and it shipped through canada post um i feel like there was something else i was going to mention there were so many paintings that i like there's another painting that i really liked which is the landscape so literally i flipped a coin between that one and this one I, it was so hard for me to decide uh, which one to get. Um, so I flipped a coin and whatever one it landed on, that's what I decided to go with. Uh, so I picked that up and so depending on how this one goes and once I complete the painting, I will, um, I will possibly go back and go get that other one because I keep thinking about it. Um, but we're, I wanna complete this one first. This, the painting that I picked, for it's a 50 by 70 full drill square. And, um, I believe it runs for 29.99 pounds and that's something like 43, 48 dollars Canadian. So it's not the cheapest out there, but if it's good quality, um, you know, I can deal with it. So depending on how this one goes, I may go back and order. So this is the box it came in. It is, I got a pretty big dent right here. It came pretty flattened, so we'll see how the canvas looks. It's taped up on both ends. Uh, let's see if you can see there. The ends are in pretty good shape. I have had worse. Uh, the condition of the box isn't on the company. I'm gonna say that's on shipping, but we'll see how the canvas made it. Let's cut off both sides of tape and put this aside. Okay, so when you open it up, I don't know if you can see, there's the canvas and the drills in the box. So we'll slide this out and see what we have. Okay, nothing else in the box. We'll toss that to the side. So here is how it came. It's a little crumpled on the sides. On the one side, actually, this side isn't too bad. On this side, it's a little crumpled, but it's not too bad. There is a pretty big dent here from, when, from where the box was creased, um, but it doesn't look terrible on the back. And I have a loose gem right here, so we're gonna put that aside. 
Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't see any, any bubbles or anything. And another loose gem, so we'll put that over here. So here is my package of drills. So we'll put this to the side and we'll go over that afterwards. And I have, I do have gems coming out everywhere. Seems to all be the one color. So we'll put the, this aside and we're gonna have to open those up carefully. Um, some people did get a nail art pen with their kit. I did not, so that seemed to be a 50-50 with some of the YouTube, um, the other YouTubers who have unboxed. It seems to be half of us received one and half of us did not. Um, but the toolkit that we did receive comes with your standard boat without a spout. We all know what that looks like. A pair of the cheap tweezers, your standard pink pen with a single placer, and I believe a 10 placer, 10 placer, and a small piece of wax. And we also have, I believe this is extra double-sided adhesive, I guess in case you have, um, something's wrong with the glue on your canvas. So we have this and it was all in this little bag. Okay, so I mentioned that I received a 50 by 70. Let's see how many colors. There are 35 colors in here. So I'm going to try, um, let's see, how can I do this? I will start to open it up here, but I will give you a full view afterwards. The cover sheet is in one piece. And let's see. So I am right here, gonna insert an image of what I picked up. Okay, and let's peel back the cover. Gonna go slowly. It's always such a delicate process. Okay. So excited to see what it's gonna look like. So the adhesive comes off, it's pretty tight on the top. There's not a lot of hangover. The hangover on the sides runs to about here. And same thing on this side. It's about the same equal distance on each side. So it's it actually doesn't run off a terrible amount. So that's good. Opened. So let's test the sticky. Yeah, it's nice and sticky. Let's get this peeled back. Okay, and we'll go about halfway up here and then I'll open you guys up on the floor so you can see the full image. And when I do that, we'll go up close to the key in the schematic. So there's the first bit of opening the painting. As you can, I don't know if you can see there, but it's two seahorses. One is predominantly, I guess, has blue shades in it, and one has more of the pinkish shades. Um, and there's a little heart in the background. So I just thought it was sweet having the two seahorses there. Um, and I really like the grayscale background um, with the pattern in it. I am seeing creases in the canvas, but I think that's just from the shipping. Let's see if I can pull it. Uh, I think once we lay something out flat on top of it, um, I think it will be fine. I do not see any bubbles or any uh, wrinkles in the glue at all. Let's see right here, is that a bit of a bubble? Slightly, there is a little bit of a bubble right here, but it looks to be if I, and if you've watched any of my other videos, you would have seen me do it. If I 
rub on it, it, it will press into the canvas. It's actually not that bad of a bubble. I don't think it's gonna cause me any problems. Like I don't think I'm gonna have to iron it or do anything extra special other than rub it a little bit there. So that's okay. Um, the symbol quality looks really clear. Yeah, so first, first views of the canvas, I think it looks good. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut the video here and I'm gonna lay it, um, we're gonna, woo, words are difficult. I am going to lay it out flat on the floor and we will get up and close and personal with these seahorses. So one moment and I'll be back. Okay, so we are back. I have it laid out on my floor here and it's fully opened up. So we're just gonna go down the whole canvas here. Slowly, so I don't make you guys too motion sickness. I just think those seahorses look adorable. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna bring you in slowly, once again, so we don't get motion sickness. And we're gonna go up close to the canvas here. Sorry for the lighting. So the symbol quality looks great printed on the canvas. I'm not gonna have any problems reading that. And further down in the canvas here, um, there was another significant crease from it being shipped. And I took a look over it. So this is this crease right here. Um, it is a pretty hard line. But once again, no bubbles formed in the canvas from it. So I'm happy about that. The adhesive is on there uh, flat. And it looks good. So no worries with that there. Um, try not to shake you guys too much. There's a good look at the drill field. It's gonna be really clear to read. Trying not to shake you guys. I'm trying to bring you up to where I saw that bubble earlier. Let's see. Where is she? So it's that area right there. So I pressed on it and uh, the adhesive seemed to adhere back perfectly fine uh, to the canvas, so I'm not worried about it. Okay, so we have one legend in the top left-hand corner, and here's a look at the symbols. So they seem pretty clear to read. Apologize for the glare. There's a scratch in my floor. <laughs> okay, so 35 colors, and there's the schematic. Okay, so I'm gonna get this closed up and we will go through the drills. It did not come with an inventory sheet. Uh, so we will take a look, one second. Okay, we are back. So since this is a review, I thought I would go through the drills um, on camera. So they are packaged in this clear plastic bag. Uh, on the outside of the bag, let's see. So that, that's one of the things that I do really like. It does have the painting coat on the bag here. So since I store my drills separately, um, I won't have a problem locating them. This is the most different way I've received drills. So they're in a bag that opens from the top as opposed to the side. Um, so I kind of have to dump them all out. Uh, so they are a little hard to get to. Never had it this way before. Okay. Sorry for all the noise. Okay. So we'll put that aside. We will somehow have to squish these back in. Um, this is one stuffed bag of drills. Um, so on the bags, it seems to have the number code, so what number it would be on the painting, the DMC number, and then the weight of what's in the bag. So I am, I 
think I will sort these out and then come back with them all laid out and then we'll look at some of the uh, drill quality for it. So one moment. Okay, we are back and I have all of the drills sorted here. So all the colors are here um, and I think it's gonna look fabulous. I love that the background color are these uh, two different shades of gray and this pop of, it's like a, gosh, it almost has a greenish tint to it. Um, background and then having the pops of color uh, in the seahorses. I think it's gonna look fabulous. Um, first look at the drills. I can say that the squares, let's see if I can hold you up here. My lighting's a bit bad. They are flat backed. There are no divots in these squares. Um, some of them, pardon the nails, but some of them do seem to have slight divots on the side um, but you know there is going to be trash and gems not every single one is going to be perfect it is so hard to tell especially with squares until you start working on the painting um, whether they're going to work and whether you're going to have popping drills because a lot of it has to do with the sizing of the drills as well and not just necessarily um, whether there's divots in the back. Um, so the real test is going to be just starting to work on the painting and seeing how the drills fit. Um, but on first glance, these are really good looking drills. Um, they look shiny. Uh, there do look, especially in this one here, there does seem to be quite a few tabs on the side of this color, so I will have to be cautious with laying them. But they look good. And this one here looks fabulous. So I think, um, you know, as I said, especially if you're a diamond painter yourself, you know that a lot of it ha has to do with it's so hard to tell is what I'm trying to say until you actually work on the painting and see if you're gonna have the popping. Now this color here, these drills, let's see if I can get it to focus. This one here does have divots in the back, but that always doesn't necessarily mean they're gonna be popping. I think, I think it has more to do with tabs on the sides. At least that's my personal feeling on it. So this is the two seahorses from Victoria's Moon. I'm going to put a link to their page below. They are a UK company, but I believe from the gist of what I've seen from their site and all the information is that um, while they are UK based, uh, the warehouse where the item ship from, I believe is from China. So that is something to keep a mind on. Um, I will be kitting this kit up soon um, and working on it probably next after I finish the what I've got going on right now. And yeah, so we, I'll post progress, um, progress videos so you can see how it's going and see how it's turning out. I'll, I might do a video uh, showing the kitting up of this painting. I haven't decided yet. Um, and then we will post updates as I get going with it. Well, thank you everyone so much for joining me here today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, thank you again to Victoria's Moon for sending this out to me and having me uh, take a look and check them out. I had never heard of them before. So I'm always, uh, I'm always looking for new companies um, and uh, I enjoy checking them out. If you like this video, I would be ever so grateful if you wanted to give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you're not already a subscriber and you'd like to subscribe, please click the button below. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave it in the comments or you can always send me a quick email and I'll be happy to get back to you. Thanks so much and I hope everyone has a fabulous day. Alrighty, bye-bye.